to another video. In this video, we'll talk about custom system actions and specifically the overview on post message. Post message is an amazing functionality because you can do cross domain parameters where you can pass from one domain to another. And it's even amazing when you use Titan forms directly with post message. It's a really, really cool functionality. So let me show you how it works. First thing first, let's head over to formtitan.com where we've built our form. And I'm going to explain a few things in there before I move on to post message. So I've built a form, and what that form's doing is just simply reading from the case object. So let's see. Here it is. Uh, and then essentially what I'm doing is this is my key case ID I've set up a get here and the get is an auto trigger and it's saying if the condition is case ID equals case ID then go ahead and bring all the data into this form however I'm not going to run it from this form I'm going to run it from my Titan web to do that post message needs to be enabled in the form. The way you do that is you go to form, you go over to limits, you check post message, click configure, you allow domains, and then case ID, you allow it to pass into FLD54, which is this one over here. Um, and what I'm doing is essentially passing this parameter, um, or allowing to pass this parameter directly into Titan Web. So this field here <coughs> is FLD54. So let's go back over to post message. I'll put an asterisk in there to allow all domains. And I've checked case ID. That's all you really need to do in Titan form. Now let's go over to Titan web. And what I'll do is I'm going to make this strip a bit smaller over here. And then I'm going to add another one over here. So let's say, this is my strip, and then in the second strip, I'm going to drag a Titan form. So let's go over to form, Titan form, drag it over. Here, you will get access to choose all your forms. I'm going to choose my Titan web case, and it's easy, easy as that. So here it is. <coughs> Just like that, we're bringing it in. So let's see. Alright, so here it is. And what I'm going to do is just make it increase the size as well. I'm going to start with the strip first. Like that. Anyway, so it will extend. And then what I'm going to do at the top here is I'm just simply going to add a button. And what this button is going to do is going to pass a parameter when it's clicked on. So what it's going to do is this button, I'm going to click on settings and I'm just going to say, let's say, for example, interactivity, configure on click action. And when you go over to custom, you've got something called post message. Enable that, click on the gear icon. <coughs> Here what you want to do is you want to include your asterisk and then also you want to suggest your target. My target is my Titan form. All right, that's what I want to pass here. So now there are two here, but I really want to uh, name my one. So give me a second, I will go ahead and do that. Settings, Titan form name, Titan, like that. So I can recognize which one it is. All right, back into the button here. Configure on click action, go over to post message, and then here, I'm going to choose my Titan post message, okay? And I will add a little asterisk in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to find a parameter to pass a value into. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to go over to settings. I'm going to go over to tools, custom parameter. And I'm going to call this case ID. Like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to Salesforce 
and grab like a random case ID. <coughs> so let's do that. Let's have a look. <laughs> let's take this one here. Let's take that and then we'll check it into there. Click apply and we're done. Um, and then one more thing we need to do is if we go over to on click action, look at my post message. Now there is my parameter available and I want to pass that into FLD54 which is the Titan hidden field. Click apply, apply and then save. Now let's publish this for a second. And once it's published, now right now I'm not passing any parameters at all, but when I click this button, you can see it's passed the ID in here, and based off the ID, it's loading the data for you. All right, awesome functionality where you can really build complex forms and then have them work with Titan Web directly. So that's the, the post message functionality.